All right, what's up guys? So I am back here, kind of hanging out, and I wanted to go over something specifically that I've been actually using really recently for about a, for about a year, but really recently I've been using a lot of. And that's just because I've been going out and doing a lot of different things. As you see clothes and all my gear is stashed, ready to go and whatnot. But I want to talk about batteries and electronic components kind of out in the field if you will and how to like tailor this back to i guess civilian is like away from electricity or something like that now most of the time you don't have to do that but in some circumstances you do and i do that a lot i will go to locations that does not have electricity but i still have specific items um mission essential items that i need them to work and how do i get around that that's exactly what i'm going to go through in this really quick so mission essential items is like NVGs, thermals, flashlights, like all kinds of different items, uh, GPS uh, based devices and stuff like that um, that are required for me in my job to have. And they always have to be charged up because if they're not, they're just a waste of weight and you're going to carry it on your back. And that sucks when you carry an item that has no meaningful place or that actually works. I imagine there's some of you that have been out there and done that and it really sucks. So how I get around that from having my devices fail on me is not using traditional batteries. I do have them as a backup. I always carry traditional batteries but I would go through them like crazy. And knowing my supply chain and whatnot, we get a certain amount and that's kind of what you gotta go with. So to get away from that, I went to rechargeable based batteries. Now, good ones too. I did a lot of research on it. So specifically, I mainly go with um, these type of batteries. I've been using them for a while and I've only had one fail me out of a pack of eight in one year. And what I mean by fail me is it just doesn't charge anymore. None of them have catastrophically failed or anything like that, which is good, especially when it's in your devices. Along with these as well, these have worked really well. I've only had one of these as well fail me out of an entire year. I'll try to show you which one it is. I'll probably post links in the below, in specifically in below actually, to see what these are. But how I recharge these also, before I say like go out on a long-term um, situation without electricity, I just use a charge controller. Just something simple that adapts to whatever battery type uh, you put into it so I can put in double AA, A, triple A, you know, CR123 rechargeables and it'll run it. And it normally just goes off at normal wall power. So this is that's how I normally um, recharge. So that's mainly for my military kind of base equipment. I also have what I consider my recreational power, which is just one of these battery bricks. And what I mean by recreational power is when I'm like out doing things that are in my specific job that I'm not going to really talk about for OPSEC reasons, but um, I like to have music. So obviously this takes a charge, but I don't want to pull mission essential electricity to a recreational device because that's a no-go. I Even myself, I can toss this stuff if I need to and hold on to the really expensive military equipment that will get me through and possibly save my life. I don't think an iPod really will do that. But that's why I, it is a little heavy, but that's why I carry um, extra power if I need to. Sometimes these won't even go with me just because of weight parameters. Sometimes if I'm going to be doing something else, I won't carry these at all just because of weight. So I also carry um, a speaker sometimes depending on what weight if I'm going to be mounted in a vehicle. Obviously the vehicle can take a whole bunch of weight, so I throw some extra little luxuries in there. Um, also, uh, my specific watch and whatnot, this is a Garmin um, Tactics Bravo. I've been using it quite a bit, and it takes recharge capabilities as well. So I'll get into this in a different video. But also, other items specifically is light, and I would consider this my mission essential. This is a black diamond headlight and this is actually rechargeable as well so you can use a normal android charger just plug it into the side and then if you need to this actually opens up let's see if i can get it it's waterproof as well but it has three rechargeable uh triple a's in here so i can replace them out for you know these down here if i need to or i can just recharge it 
so the capabilities are awesome. So my primary light is this specific, let's see if I can get it in there for you, is a Streamlight Protac 1L 1AA. And specifically why I really like this light is because it takes three different battery cells. So you can run this light off of 123s, double A's, and triple A's. It's a single cell and you can throw it in there and it will still do what it needs to on all three of those devices, which is awesome. And I like the interchangeability and that is exactly why I carry this light on duty, off duty, pretty much everywhere I go. And also for the smaller things, like uh, this is just a shaver to keep myself in regs when I'm actually back on the installation. And this is also ran by the same exact rechargeable batteries here, so I don't have to blow through these. So this is pretty much what I use. Now there's probably other ways to recharge and whatnot. I just haven't really figured it out yet. I imagine some people watching this are going to be, oh yeah, I do this. Please share them. If you have a better way of doing this stuff, please let me know in the comments. I mean, myself and probably other people would be very grateful. But at the moment, this is what I am doing. This is how I'm using it. I might upgrade it in the future. Same with the charge controller. This thing's a little older, but it still works. So if it works, you know, I'm going to keep using it until I find something really better out there. But just wanted to share this. This is kind of what I'm doing. You can also articulate this stuff to kind of, I guess you could say, prepper or... Um, like get home bag, bug out bag scenario, like can this fit in there? Um, specifically, I run night vision in my other kits like that, my bug out kits and stuff like that. So I'm trying to get recharge capability with solar and all that fun stuff, which will be coming up in, in more videos. If you guys like this stuff, I have a ton of stuff planned. My deployment's coming to an end here. I'm going back home and I'm going to have... A bunch of videos awesome videos coming out and it's not gonna be tabletop like this it's gonna be like in field a lot of stuff going on um, good stuff so just hit like subscribe I mean for coming up here in probably about two months I'm gonna be cranking out awesome videos based on all kinds of stuff um, cars uh, four-wheel driving you know weapons uh, gear related stuff prepping stuff food prep stuff home defense stuff all this stuff I have I'm, I'm trying to get information out there. So give me a like, hit that subscribe button. I hope you guys have a great day.